Hello everybody, welcome back to Balrog Colonel. It's been quite some time, has it not? Well, I did say that I would get this done, and it, to much to my, um, well, disappointment, I do have to finish the well, because hey, I said I would, and I'm regretting this already. So, let's take a look at what's going on around here. Oh yes, and by the way, I had upgraded my computer since uh, last year, basically. So now you should be able to see this in um, much better quality, and then you can see the quality of uh, our friend Jack's goose step. Hello? Oh, uh, fuck. What? Uh... I mean, uh, hello? Uh, got you? Who are you? Ah, uh, no one. What are you doing in my house? Ah, uh, well, uh, why wouldn't I be in your house? Ah, uh, cuisine? What? Your food? Oh, don't, don't you recognize your own cuisine? You're my cuisine? Ah, uh, that's right. Ling cuisine. Your cuisine. Ricky. Ricky? That's right. Even though my parents were both only childs? Ah, uh, yep. Alright. Can you explain what you were doing with that mop? I actually thought that was a scythe for a minute there. Oh well. Ah, uh, well, what mop? What do you mean, what mop? The one that you're holding behind your back. Uh, I don't see any mop. Then what's that on the floor? Oh, uh, nothing. Uh, ketchup. Uh, it's a vegetable. Definitely not the blood of your ill-fated hands or killed by some evil alien monster. Whoops, I didn't say that. What? What? What did you mean by alien monster? Oh, well, who said anything about a crawling slug-like alien monster that's uh, upstairs right now feeding on the uh, the parrots and this horribly molested corpses? Wow. What? What? Okay, cuisine. Uh... You. Ah, uh, Ricky. Right, right, Ricky. Are my parents dead? Ah, uh, yes. What? Uh, I mean, uh, no, no, uh, don't get me wrong now. Where are they, then? Oh, well, you see, uh, ha, huh. okay, Cuisine Jack, yes, Cuisine Jack, I'll, I'll be honest with you, that was an accident. Okay, your parents, uh, they, uh, they found out the stairs, and, uh, they, even though there are no stairs, and, with, and were pretty decapitated by the steps. Stairs? Yep, I see. Where are their bodies, then? Upstairs. Then I'll go up and take a look at them. Oh, uh, no, no, uh, uh, well, you can't. Because, uh, of the plague. Terrible plague, right. I don't even want to fucking now, instead of no. Oh, phew, that was close. So, as we can see, Jack has encountered a less than an intelligent agent who's trying to cover up the murder of his parents. So, as the psychotic, um, you know, preteen, teen, uh, pro uh, protagonist, as we might call him, we have to find a way of brutally uh, getting through this game. So, let's see if I can go through here. Oh, okay. That's the same message as before. Ah, now we can go down here. Let's see what this one has to say. Hey, you're just a stupid redneck kid. Go play somewhere else. You see, this guy is very straight to the point. <clears throat> hey, there's my old TV. Shouldn't have started showing bad reception in the middle of days in our... <laughs> in the middle of days of our deaths. Stupid TV. Man, it's been a while since I played this game. I forgot how silly this was. There's a lot of broken mechanics and electrics in there. Really? Well, maybe we can use this to our advantage by axing it to death. No, apparently not. I only got wooden and axe. I'm pretty sure you have to do something with this. Doesn't have any power. Unlike almost anything other... Everything other here? What? 
Dad keeps all manner of strange things in there. If I could only just get that hatch open. Well, maybe if you axed it? No. Not quite. Okay. Look, a window. Cool. Can't really reach up there. Uh, maybe there's this... Okay, maybe you, do you have to axe this guy? No. Oh, 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 oh. I think that you need to emo him. Hey. Okay. So you can't emo. Can you emo the washer? Or the television? No. Too bad. Alright. Let's continue. Hmm. You see... This blood puddle, that kind of looks like an eyeball. Okay. I think I remember the sequence of this. Oh, we already looked at the painting. It's a really sweet view. I bet you even the sickest and most stupid person would enjoy this view. Now that's supposed to be a very subtle hint as to uh, indicate what to do next. So... Even though, even though I cut my share of wood in my miserable life, and even though he seems a tad stupid, I don't really think I can overpower him if he can see me coming with this blunt axe. So we're going to do the most awkward thing that Adventure Game has ever done. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Here we go. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. That was just a joke. Instead, we're going to do something even more awkward. Ah, uh, hail my fair maiden. What fair you? Ah, uh, maiden? Alas, that has seen the fair sight, and that begrass thou by yon window. I can't say I have. Perhaps I need to take a little break from this damn blood-swapping duty. Uh, cleaning duty. I, I mean, uh, uh, uh ketchup. Uh, right. Hey, you were right. The view is pretty pretty. And this is when you strike. Hey, hey. Wee, 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 wee. Do, do, do. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. And graphical corruptions galore. And we have a carcass. Hey, a corpse. And of course, being as unscrupulous as Jack is, you have to search the corpse. The corpse. Let's see what old cuisine Ricky carries around with him. Ah. Nice sunglasses. A bit bloody, though. A few notes and a book. How to fool rednecks? It's got a classy title, though. Hmm. I guess that was everything, then. Can I be emo to the corpse? I forget. No. Should be, though. That's too bad. Can you be emo to the window? No. Okay. So now you're supposed to look through the stuff. I'm... S oh. <laughs> this is his notes. I am so excited. This is my first real mission. Hopefully everything will be going well. Though my boss, Agent X2, seems like a bit of a veteran. I'm sure he there's nothing to worry about. Apparently one of the green flashes struck not far from here near a small farming community. Great. Rednecks. We are currently on the pursuit of... Oh, on the pursue. I, I forgot. This guy is an exceptional grammatical artist. Of one of the servants, as my superior calls them. Myself, I've dubbed them the crawlers. Nasty creatures. I hope I don't run into one myself. Agent 2 spoke to me about the orbs last night. From what I've gathered, are they, uh, are they not the same kin as the crawlers? Well, more grammatical... Excellence, though they seem to be only creatures that actually have an interest in humans. I've installed a guard door for my Agent X2. He seems pleased with my work. I just have to remember the clues I wrote down. My damn notebook is falling apart in this damn place. Where can the other pages be? Damn! Maybe one of those bushes that grows all around, or maybe in that nasty shed, damn it. Alright, so that's a clue. I remember the most important clue, though. Better write it down again. Marks of the claws shall never be close to the moon's kind. Poetic and cool. Can't really do much with the shades. Title. How to fool rednecks. Rednecks love family more than anything else in the world. So to gain their trust, pretend to be a distant relative, preferably of the opposite sex. Soon you will be accepted as one of their own kin, and be a part of their unique and sometimes frightening culture. 
All right, so we've reached a 10 minute mode. It's uh, been Balrog Colonel. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed yourself. Take care now.